So my name is Astoria. I am with Science Museum Oklahoma and we are here in the Kirkpatrick Planetarium and as a Allied Arts member agency we believe that the intersection between art and science is very wide and that notion does hold true here in the planetarium as we explore and marvel at the wonders of astronomy. While space yields some breathtaking sights from planets, moons, stars, and galaxies, one of my favorite things to explore are nebulae. These are giant clouds of interstellar space and dust. And thanks to stellar winds that push and pull this material around, these nebulae can actually have some really interesting shapes, which is why, just like with the Rorschach test, uh, a lot of these nebulae are actually named after what just someone thought they looked like. Now, of course, nebulae in our galaxy are hundreds of thousands of light years away, but here on Earth, we can actually simulate a dying star ejecting its matter into space. This will actually create, depending on the type of star, either a planetary nebula or a supernova remnant. And we're actually going to do this by using a salad spinner. Now, this, of course, is going to create our force needed to eject those outer layers. But of course, first, we need something to put it on. Uh, so this is actually just construction paper. It's black, because this will kind of give us a nice space background. Uh, but it could really be any color. Um, and then I'm going to use paint uh, to simulate those outer layers. Now, I'm using temper paint, which is great, because it's washable. So if you make a mess, it's not a big deal. And I'm also using fluorescent paint. Uh, I think this will actually make a really cool contrast to the black background, but again, any colors will do. And I'm actually going to drop it in the center of the paper. I'm going to put a little bit more blue because I really like the color. There we go. All right, and then to kind of help it around, I'm actually going to move the paint all directions. So this will kind of help with the spread. And so once I have it the way I want it to, I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to put my top back on. And then I'm just going to give it a couple pushes. Okay. And so now uh, once we have it the way we think it looks good, uh, we're going to press the button to stop it. And then let's take a look at our nebula. So as I pull it out, there we go. And so just like real astronomers, I'm going to take a look at this and I'm going to give it a name by what I think it looks like. Um, I think it kind of looks like a porcupine. Do you see the quills? That's what I decided. This is the porcupine nebula. Now, if you would like to do this activity at home or check out some of the other activities we have on our website, it's under the page SMO at home at sciencemuseumok.org. All right, so thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Astoria at Science Museum Oklahoma. Bye.